Hey guys, so I am back with yet another Orchid Bloom. <laughs> so this is one of my Pathio Petalums. The name is way too long for me to remember and say, but I will definitely share the name of this Orchid in the title of this video. So yes, you guys, this is a Pathio Petalum. It bloomed for me. It opened up about two or three days ago. And you guys, I am absolutely loving this. This is so stunning. One thing I like about Paphia Petal of Orchids is that they are erotic, right? Like, what what does this resemble to you? <laughs> okay, pause. But, um, yes, you guys. So, look at, before we actually get into it, just look at all these details. You see the fine hairs and things like that all of the colors and the gradients the pinks the green the different varying textures patio petalums are just really one of my favorite orchids so yes you guys now let's talk about patio petalum care this patio petalums pretty much medium to highlight and you water them. I, people say to keep them wet. To be honest, I feel like that is a very regurgitated sentiment because my very one of my very first Pathio Petalum Orchids, actually, which was this one right here, I did exactly what people told me to do and I almost killed it as you can see it it lost its first fan this fan this is the leaf formation is actually a new fan and deep inside of there i seen a uh, flower spike so my method with patio petalums is i actually wore them once per week i do not keep them wet i don't let them get bone dry but I don't keep them wet either, right? And like I said, medium to highlight. And another thing that I learned with Pathio Petalums is that these get fertilizer burned so easily. Like the same way you would fertilize another orchid or a traditional house plant, you can't fertilize a Pathio Petalum like that. So from what I've learned, what I like to do now is whatever, um, I use a balance fertilizer. So balance means the NPK ratio across the board is the same number. So like 12, 12, 12, 16, 16, 16, you know, um, so no higher than like a 20, 20, 20, but when it comes to the Pathio Petalums, literally a quarter, uh, usually they say use a full teaspoon of fertilizer. But I use a quarter teaspoon of fertilizer to fertilize my Pathio Petalums. And then what I do is in the aftermath, I take a spritz bottle of water and make sure that I spray the leaves so that any fertilizer is removed from the foliage because i mean these orchids can burn so easily from fertilizer burn and i'm going to show you guys an, a, an example of fertilizer burn so what you see right here is fertilizer burn now the split happens when it gets too dry but yeah and that happens so so easily you guys so you want to make sure you're not over fertilizing these as far as growth i mean you should get one flower per year if it has multiple fans you know each fan which is this what you see the leaf formation is capable of throwing up flower spikes so the bigger the plant the more um flowers you're gonna get but yeah, so these are definitely slow growers. I would say sometimes, like as far as the flower spike, it can take like four to six months or more to actually go from the spike to the bloom, 
whereas other orchids can take a month or two. So these are very, very, very slow growing. But if you do your proper care, like I said, you should at least get one bloom per year, right? And as far as fragrant, I don't have a large collection of Paphiopetalums, but I haven't yet known them to be fragrant. I have one actually that is in spike right now. That one, which I just showed you, apparently that's supposed to be somewhat fragrant and smell like raspberry, but we'll see. I haven't had a fragrant Paphiopetalum yet. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and amplify this content and I will see you in the next video.